Okay, now this example is um, a little bit more difficult because before we can continue to find the LCM, we must first recognize that our lowest, our denominators at this point um, can be factorized, and therefore we can't just use them as is because we won't find won't be able to find the lowest common de uh, denominator as it is right there. So we first factorize. Um, I just get so excited when I see difference of two squares because it's so simple. Okay, negative 3 negative x over x plus 1. Okay, so that one can't factorize any further. This one, okay, please remember the first thing we always try is actually taking out a common factor. In this case, we'll just take out the common, uh, the negative 4 because that would leave us with x minus 1, which which seems to be quite important for this one, x minus 1. Okay, so as you do some of these more and more, you'll start getting a feel for how it works. Okay, so the first one chooses his candidate. He chooses x plus 1 and x minus 1. The next one says, well, my candidate's there already, but the, um, the final term says, well, one of my factors are there, but I'm still missing the negative 4. So it multiplies with a negative 4 as well. Now, uh, even though you are multiplying with negative 4, you could, if you wanted to, have just cancelled the 4s to begin with. If there's any simplification that can happen in these steps, let it happen, okay? If you can simplify, uh, simplify, but sometimes it cancels out uh, a solution. In those cases, it's actually fine because that solution would, in the end, be not applicable anyways. So wouldn't be a big problem so if we multiply negative 4 x plus 1 and x minus 1 in this one both of these factors will cancel so I'll just be multiplying with negative 4 in this one x minus 1 x plus 1 okay, do you see how I changed the order doesn't matter okay when we multiply does the order of multiplication doesn't matter the last one is negative 4 times x minus 1, x plus 1. And in this specific case, the negative 4 cancels the negative 4. The x minus 1 cancels the x minus 1. And what do we have left? We have left x minus 3 times the negative 4 plus, and then negative 3 negative x that's multiplied with a negative 4 so this in front here becomes negative 4 and x plus 1 x minus 1 I mean is equal to negative 7 and the only factor remaining here that did not cancel is the x plus 1 factor as you can see this one is going to take a little bit longer to solve because we've got uh, not just did we have to factorize but we also have to simplify quite a bit here so negative 4 and negative 3 gives me positive 12 okay first I'm going to simplify what's inside the, the, the two brackets by multiplying them with each other I like multiplying x's with x's first so I get negative x squared then I like the um, unknowns with the constants that gives me negative 3 and positive 1 gives me negative 2x and then finally the coefficient ach, the constants with each other that's negative 3 and negative 1 gives me positive 3 okay that's equal to negative 7x negative 7 when I distribute the negative 7 to every term in there okay now you can see this is going to be a quadratic equation because because of the x squared which means I want it equal to 0 so I'm going to say plus 7x plus 7 on both sides okay as soon as I've done that I can continue I've got the negative 4 times the negative x squared that gives me positive 4x squared okay then I've got the negative 4 times the negative 2 gives me positive 8x. Let's just write any other x's as well. We've got negative 4x as well as positive 7x. Okay, and then I've got my negative 3 times 
negative 4 times 3 gives me negative 12. Okay, other constants is positive 12 as well as positive 7 is equal to 0. So now let's simplify. What do we get? Okay, 4x squared is the only square x to the power of four, uh, 2, I mean. Then we've got 8x's minus 4x's gives me 4x's plus 7x's gives me plus 11x's. And then finally, I've got my constants, which is negative 12 and plus 12. They just cancel one another. So I'm left with plus 7 equal to 0. Okay, and this is fairly easy to factorize into two brackets. Okay, because the one has to be 4x plus 1 and the other one has to be x plus 7 because I know that 4 plus 7 gives me the 11. So, uh, sorry, so 4 and 7 has to be in one bracket. The other bracket would be x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, um, so that now I've got 7x plus 4. 4x that would give me the 11. Okay, so if you see that your um, coefficient in front and your constant at the back adds together to give you this middle one, then it's actually quite easy because then uh, it would be 4x plus your last one and the other bracket would just be x plus 1 always. So, um, cool, let's continue. This means that my solutions are 4x plus 7 equals to 0 or x plus 1 equals to 0. But if x plus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to negative 1 and this one x is equal to negative 7 over 4. Okay, negative 7 over 4 can be simplified a little bit more. Let's say 1 and 1,75. Now what I want you to do is to test your answers. Okay, and we see in the beginning we can't have x equal to 1 or negative 1 because 1 squared would be 1 minus 1 is 0. So x can't be 1. But x can also not be negative 1 because negative 1 squared gives me 1 minus 1 is 0 negative 1 in here as well, negative 1 plus 1, that would give me 0. Negative 1 here would give me uh, 4 times, the, this would give me 8, that's not a problem there. But it, it causes at least one problem which is a big enough problem for me to know that I can't have a negative 1 as an answer. This is not applicable. This answer doesn't give me a problem because negative um, 1 and 3 quarters can be substituted into any of these value um, unknowns and I'll never get a zero in the denominator. So that one does not give me problems but x equal to negative one does which means that we must put a not applicable next to it. Probably lowercase is better. Cool, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed these videos and that you find that uh, equations with fractions are actually not that difficult. So good luck attempting a few on the, your own. Try and find some that do not look like mine so that you can practice this in your own way. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.